Jeremiah uh, 59 and uh, 9. That's going to be something. No, just and yeah, good point. Just hey, they do that in our Esau court system as far as like um, you know, when you read precept and pre upon precept, you basically building a case for the truth. And like I said, they do that in Esau court court system because you know the lawyer will come up and um he'll um he'll do like you know, he'll go to like past cases trying to prove a point in a current case, like such and such versus the people and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Um trying to, to build his case up to uh to you know, get you know the plaintiff or defendant, whoever he's you know defending, trying to get them off by you know um, going to past history, past cases, and proving his point. You know. Um, I, I can grab one real quick. Okay. You, you talked about uh, how Esau's language is, is uh, hard to understand. This is Isaiah uh, 33 and 19. Thou shalt not see a fierce people, uh, a people of a deeper speech that thou canst perceive, of stammering tongue that, uh, that thou canst not understand. You know, because you you can't really understand this this uh, devil's language, you know. They have uh, what, what uh, brothers always talk about, new speak. You know, where a word a word back then meant, meant something new. You know, this English language, isn't isn't uh isn't similar to to the Hebrew language. That's the reason why when you go into the apocrypha and you read you read the uh, the beginning of uh of uh, Sirach, you got the prologue, and the prologue tells you hey the same things uttered in Hebrew may not have the same force when it when they're translated into another language, or transcribed into another language. You know, to to me honestly, I like the I like the word arrow or or fiery uh, uh okay, flaming so, sword. Yeah. I like that better than ICBM missile. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it adds a little uh, it adds a little bit more uh, a little wow. bit more drama to it. You know, you know a, a flaming sword. You know, cause Jake's thinking pictures. You know, I like to, I like to envision a, a flaming sword. You know, or, or a glittering glittering spear. You know, that right there sounds better than an ICBM missile. Esau's language is whack as fuck. <laughs> uh, ICBM, and then he wants to put acronyms on everything, you know, or or, or uh, break down the sentence into into the first the first capitalized letter in each word, you know, like LOL, laugh out loud. Fuck an ICBM. I like I like glittering spears, you know. Let the Lord drop glittering spears on this place, man. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah five and nine. Shall I not visit for these things, saith Yahweh? And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Go ye up upon her walk. This is Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From this shall she be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon and an assembly of great nations from the north country. All right, now uh, check this out. This is a uh, unonym. This is uh, the definition of Merriam-Webster. A uh, unonym, a name well suited to the person, place, or thing named. So Babylon is a unonym for America. That's why you're not going to see America. Where is America in the Bible? Where, where, where do you see uh, Most High is going to bomb the United States of America? You're not going to see that because this is a unonym. This is why you got an actual name for a type of word because Esau knows these type of words exist. So this Bible that you're reading is probably the only book that got unonyms uh, in it. You know, uh, right? Similitudes, uh, uh, holonyms, Dark all, all these different type of words. You it, put it like that it's translated from a different language. So that right there confuses you and throws you off. You know, so you really diligently got to read this. Keep going. And they shall set themselves in a array against her. For from this shall she be taken. 
Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert. Again, an arrow. Expert man. So. Right, arrows. That's again a similar to. Because put it like this. You got you got uh I don't know, over maybe a million words in the uh, English language. Right? You know, you take two languages, every language don't got the same amount of words. So you got one language that might have, let's say, uh, a half a million. And another language that might have a million or two million. Or some languages don't even have a uh, uh, hundred thousand. Some languages have less than that. So let's say you got a word such as uh, uh, English, let's say uh, cyber. You know, for like, so like cyber war, stuff like that. Now, how do you translate that to another language that don't have a word for that? They use a similar to, for something that a word that already exists, or that sometimes they might make up one, but usually they use a word that exists to explain what it is that they're talking about. So you got to use the best word that you already have to describe what it is that you have. Right. So if you let's let's say uh, 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 Pepsi or anything like that, you know, or not not Pepsi, uh, uh, any uh, any uh, word that you see. Uh, 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 put it like this, a lot of uh, medical terms. You know, you're not going to see an actual uh, a Hebrew word. You might see, you know, a similitude for it, or you, you can express that same concept with different words if you can't express it with one word. I got you. Yeah, and uh, in, in the, uh, I, I, I forgot how it's pronounced, but it's one of the uh, native, the so-called Native American languages. I think it's Algonquin. Instead of saying, because they didn't have a word for bullets at that time, so they would call them uh, flaming arrows, but they would say it in the, uh, the Algonquin uh, language. Uh, you know, going to what the brother's saying, that uh, word that starts with a U. You uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, shit, what the brother said. You know, because there's not exact translations for it. And that's I.E., glittering spear, flying sword. If you can't say ICBM missile, if they're not uh, created, there's no way you can, they will understand that that terminology, but they know what it looks like to them. The image, it looked like an arrow to them. An arrow that's gonna shot from the end of the earth and never return back. It's, go, it's just it's just similar way. They, it's only the way they can actually see or understand what they were speaking on. Because you couldn't just say ICBM. It wasn't, the word wasn't really um, out there. It wasn't never out there. Or nuclear missile, you couldn't say nuclear missile. They didn't understand. They just know what they saw in the vision and what it looked like to them. That's it. If I got something else. But but basically being being in this educational system, you don't learn stuff like that. You, know, you learn your basic, you know, bullshit. So this is why, you know, people are, are so limited, you know, they got this, you know, this, they see the world through these little tiny little lens, you know, through Western education. So that's why they, they don't they don't learn anything, you know, because when you put it like this, you you learn you go to school, and, and I said this before, you learn about math. Math is, is ain't, ain't that hard if you teach it the right way. You got uh, like uh, like the, uh, math magics, like how to uh, calculate math in your head, stuff like that. Either might learn about shit like that, but you go to school, you learn how to draw it out, do like this. This shit like that, you can uh, train your your mind to know like you know what's a uh, hundred times or forty three, you know, or how to quickly multiply a five digit number and a three digit number. You know, there's quickly ways that you can like learn, you know, little like tiny little loopholes or tricks, stuff right. like that, where you can learn, like, okay, boom, this is it exactly. Right. You know, they don't teach you how to do like that. They don't so they don't teach you the concept of math or stuff like that. They just teach you, you know, how to, you know, uh how to how to do something. Put it like put it like this. If somebody teaches you how to uh put a car engine in, they gotta still teach you the concept of it. So you when you go to another make and model, how you you know, you say, okay. I put it like this, you're gonna have such and such uh, attached to this, you know, it's gonna be around the cylinder block, you gotta use this, but if they just teach you, you gotta do this, unscrew this, you won't learn it. Put it like, like let's say if somebody teach you how to do a crossover or a movie in basketball or boxing, if they don't teach you how to and when to use it, you can throw the best uppercut, but if you don't throw it at the right time, it don't mean nothing. You know, so there, there's a, a proper way to be educated, and in, in this scriptures, you are, and in, in America, you're miseducated. You know, in, in, in plenty of ways. And like the uh, brother brought out, you know, uh, one of the ways you are miseducated, you know, they have the uh, career day in school. You know, you, you see, uh, you, you'll see uh, all types of uh, people come in. And uh, can you kick that for me again? Uh, about uh, the career day you, you was kicking? Uh, career day, um, if you're talking about, uh, uh, you know, like elementary school. Yeah, kind of, yeah, like with career day, yeah, they have like certain police officers, firefighters, you know, they might be nurse, doctors or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They, they come into the schools and start them young and like, you know, um, certain, uh, you know, 
the students or the kids, you know, they don't have they don't have no no idea what they're gonna do for the future, but they implant them thoughts, you know, at an early age. Like, well shit, you know, they they, they people that come in, they they um they put an impression on them and then all of a sudden, you know, they wanna be a cop all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Now they, they going through their life striving to be a police officer or striving to be a um a fire fire firefighter or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> But then you know the, the you got the educational system also too about you know the, your show and tell you know you have uh, have a, your student bring in something you know so now you all you know wanted to show out you know you know be it by me being a uh, materialistic you know so you got you got this is how they uh, re-educate you you know in, into uh, Western education. Uh, can you uh, I can get uh, Jose four six from me. Back to what Doc was saying, you know, how they don't teach you shit in the school system. This is Sirach chapter 30. I'll start from, uh, I'll start from verse 3. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet is he as though he were not dead, for he hath left one behind him that is like himself. You know, the main part being, uh, he that teaches their, uh, their son grieveth the enemy. Because you know, if you have your children growing up the, uh, the right way, you know, in the scriptures, you know, that, that, Esau doesn't like that. You know, students, I got, uh, you know, I'll use myself, for instance, my mom taught me how to read before I started school. So when I came in already knowing how to read, the teacher didn't like that. You know, because I'd just be sitting around bullshit while the other kids were uh, learning shit. You know, that, that's, that used to piss the teachers off. I used to get in a lot of trouble. So I'd just be, I was bullshitting for like the first, like, like the first couple grades. I had to really do shit. And stuff like that. Esau hates it because he wants to get your hands on you right when you're young, when you're easy to hold. When you start when he holds you young, just like if you get ahead of when you're young, you can train it to do all types of tricks, train it to do uh, unique things that you can't do with an older animal. You know, that's how Esau abuses his animals. That's why he trains us up the way he does. I got my own personal testimony. Uh, my mom used to teach me before I, uh, I really started going to school too. I remember, uh, I think I was like first grade or second grade. Uh, even my teacher, my mom used to be heavy on me about critical thinking. So uh, even my, she was talking about Christopher Columbus and how he discovered America. And I remember we were sitting down in class and she was reading, and when she was talking about that, I questioned her and I was like, that doesn't why? Uh, how did he discover uh, America? if the Native Americans was already there. And she put me in time out. She called me a little smart ass. I mean, I didn't know no better, but the Spirit of the Lord was with me that day. Hey, well, if, 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 you're, if you basically have some common sense and you're able to read, then, then they would they say that uh, a, nigga, a nigga that can read is, is, no use, is no use for anybody. You know, because they want you ignorant. That way you can be a slave in, in, their, in their school system. That's the reason why they come up with the curriculums that you have to follow in their school system, because they wanted you to be, they want you to be trained a certain way, you know. But if you if you go outside of their their way, if you go outside of their way and you're re-educated, like let, let's say for instance, we're we re-educated to follow the truth after the Bible. We're no good to this system. That's the reason why. When you go into uh, Revelations, the 13th chapter, it says that they created an image of the beast, and whosoever would not uh, follow or worship the image of the beast was put to death. That's going to be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. You know, there's going to be a great insurrection upon the Israelites because they don't want to follow Esau's system. And we can read, our, our eyes are open. There, there's other people, they, yeah, they, they read because they know how to read, but they, they don't perceive. We're able to perceive what we read. Yes. It's not it's not easy for Esau to sly us or to, or, or to trick us. So they, they like the brothers. I believe that's the uh, the point that he's trying to make, Salakia. But but Esau would teach you how to read in, in his school system, but he don't teach you uh, he don't he don't uh, teach you the fundamentals that allow you to understand and perceive what you read. I, I was about to say uh, you know, there's a difference between reading and reading comprehension. You know, anybody can stare at some letters, you know, anybody can pick up the scriptures and read, start from Genesis and go to Revelation. 
but still not remember, understand, or uh, believe any of them, you know? Uh, yeah. When, when the, Got when it. The I was